Yo. Yes. Who was that, bro? Because I was, I was enjoying that, bro. Mm-hmm. Who was that? Uh, Airborne Gav and Joe James. Yeah, no. Get the rent paid, man. Yeah. It's very much needed this time. Yep. Yeah? You're right over there. Yeah, I'm great. How yeah. are you? I'm feeling fantastic. Good. You know, just about, you know, Barely. I just about made it. Listen, after the weekend shenanigans, but yeah, I'm here, man. Bank hey, holiday. like a bad bee. <laughs> don't, shenanigans. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't, 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 you fuck, don't do that. Don't, don't even talk to you, don't do that. Yes. <laughs> Bank holiday shenanigans, man. Yeah. yeah. I tried enjoying my small swing, man. What'd you get up to? I was, I was on a stag during the weekend, didn't it? So, yeah, there's a whole lot of drinking. How's your liver? <laughs> I mean, How's your bank account? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it is, it is, I'm not checking anything till next week. Yeah. Like, how was you coping? Because, like, I know nowadays, yeah, like, your, your bounce back is longer than it's ever been. Drag him, then. So, doing, like, three, three nights in a row, like, how did you manage that, bro? Do you know the weird way? That's probably better for me than going out on the, the big boozy one night. Mm. Because like, you know what they say? The best way to cure hangover is just carry on drinking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Just back to back. Yeah, back to back, man. Come on, man. So like in the morning, recovery, and then by the afternoon, you're on a wave again. Yeah. Do you know yeah. as well, we, we patted some like some catering before we, like, before we mm, got, um, before mm. we left. And so it coming in at like four or five in the morning, it ain't kebabs, it's jollof rice. Okay. Like, I like that. Suya. Oh. Meat pies and all that stuff. So you're so clamped with alcohol. But there was one night where I come and I didn't eat. So when I woke up in the morning, Ugh. I felt rough. Ugh. So yeah, yeah. But no, for the most part, it was cool. I don't, I don't know how am I sounding right now. Am I giving them raspy Ralph vibes? Am I? Nah, the other day you posted, yeah, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you were definitely shouting this weekend. <laughs> Foles is definitely a in somewhere. No, I just want to know if like, I'm giving off husky vibes right now. If, now now's a good time for me to send some um, like risque voice notes and yeah, stuff. Yeah, there's mm. gonna be someone out there who'll enjoy it. Your, your hair. <laughs> no, you, you do. You. That was a like political answer. Like, yeah. if, it's not for me. Yeah, <laughs> but there's, there's a slight little husk there. Yeah, you know, come on, man. Quick little rasp, bro. But you're right. Listen, I was really doing a go this weekend, and that man, just a in. Yeah, man, shaking your locks. Away games. Yeah, they, now do they play in the dance? I think they played some old school Waka Flocka. We shake, me and my cousin were shaking our locks at one point. <laughs> yeah. Why not, man? That's your moment, man. Come on, you got to enjoy. Let him enjoy. It's got to be done, man. How you not feeling though? You like you look at this bank holiday weekend? I actually no. was, you know. Yeah. Yeah, Friday. We were out um at Essie's thing, innit? Oh, at White yeah, City yeah, House. Shout out to Essie. Yeah. Um successful night, it was it was packed. Did you, you give Essie a money pull up? I didn't actually. I got her a drink though. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I don't do the money pull up thing. <laughs> I didn't go. I didn't go there for, <laughs> for a mediocre <laughs> set. <laughs> you should be shelling. You say you didn't carry no cash. Yeah. I can't wait to when they start having card machines in the DJ booth for that. The read this little <laughs> bro. I, my stance is my stance, bro. Nah, I hear it, but I love that. I, I like it, man. D, you know, DJ culture, they want that thing in it, so yeah. But I'm pissed I missed that so but next one I'm definitely gonna be there, man. Yeah, a couple familiar faces in there. Um I've done a shot with SB. Um Oh SB was out, yeah? Yeah, she was she oh, bigger up, man. Bigger up. Um shout out to SB two times. Um yeah, her and a manager, shout out to him as well. He yeah. he got us some shots and then we did did all that. It was it was wavy, man. H was there. Yeah. Yeah, all confused and shit. Why was he confused? Because, like, he didn't know whether the drink that he had was alcoholic or not. <laughs> he was like, bro, t- taste this and tell me if there's alcohol in it. And I'm like, you're the sober one, bro. <laughs> you should know, bro. <laughs> there was a mocktail, in it? Ah, oh, okay. So mm. got, okay, I think the mocktails are so sweet, so you won't know it. They could disguise it, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, bro, no, no alcohol. He's like, yeah. I was like. You didn't trust Vads at that moment, innit? Uh, no, I was like, no, I was just the bartender. Okay. Mm. Like, I double-checked and bro, there's no alcohol in it. But yeah, I'm not there's no alcohol in it. Yeah, I sipped it and I was like, I thought like there's a foreign kick here that I can't. Oh, you were scared that he's going to be like an hour and a half into the dance yeah, and he kicks in? Yeah, didn't even say no straight away. Yeah. Just sit there and get it. Nah, because like, because he was confused, I was then confused. So I was like, God, these are the men you've sent This us. is mad. Man at the, man at the bar, the, ch- like tasting mocktails like, to make sure that's hilarious. <laughs> Where were you? Was you out? Did you go out with them? No, I was indoors. Okay. Yeah, no, it was good, man. It was good. Um, yeah, a couple of the men were, were super waved. So, um, As you should be, man. You know, yeah, it was yeah. a good night. It was, it was, bro, it was so mad that like there was bare different things happening at once. Was Rimsey performing in the dance at one point? Or was that yeah, else? Yeah, bro. 
um, I don't even know where I was because there was another party. <laughs> bro, you, you're never beating none of these charges. Bro, bro, I, don't, I don't know where I was. Bro, there was a party <laughs> on the other side of the, the oh the venue the venue okay. in it like it's it was like we were like on the eighth floor okay so like in diff- different floors there was different random parties I just mm. managed to stumble in a BAFTA party fair a couple of people in there um the Donny that um wrote uh Dreaming Whilst Black oh uh, his BAFTA. Sebastian Till yeah, yeah 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 nah he Sebastian Till directed it the, the actual okay. writer actual the person writer, okay. who, who stars in it um Oh, the, Sorry, um, I can't remember his name. Is it the, the guy that won the award as well for it? The Ajani, yeah. Is it Ajani? Yeah. The guy with so the locks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's, the, he's the one that threw that party Cold. F- um, for his BAFTA win, in it? Cold, come on, so, man. We have to know, celebrate, man. A couple of familiar faces were in there, innit? So I just crept in and, you know, <laughs> scanned the room. A bit of networking. Yeah, man. Do you know what I mean? I and then you. I came back to Essie's thing. But then on the ninth happy. floor, there was another Shubs. And then on the tenth floor, there was a rooftop Shubs as well. <laughs> Or you just we just going from floor to floor, <laughs> bro. It was just mad. Yeah, what? Why not, bro? Yeah, it's gotta be done, man. Got to enjoy. So yeah, now I was I was out, man. Um, yeah. yeah, I was pretty much out out every night. Out like a fox. You said it. Yeah, and you were my guy's birthday, behaving. man. Yeah, it was my guy's birthday. <laughs> shout out to Delhi. One fours. Oh, shout out to Delhi, man. Happy birthday, Teddy. Sorry. What? what? Happy birthday. Say the name Who? again. Teddy, no? Teddy. Oh, that's honestly what I had. This might be just as bad as last week which, when Homegirl said AJ Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, listen, big up Tandy each and every time. Yeah. yeah. Amazing episode. vibes. Everyone loved the episode. Um, I'm sorry to burst those bubble, but this ain't going to be a free episode this week. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I ain't got it in me this week, but yeah. I, I, I love the fact these guys love the long episode so much. Yeah, man. Like, it's surprising to me. Don't only hear me for three hours. Did anybody else say you talk for that long? I don't want to hear myself <laughs> talk for three hours. <laughs> well, you, get, you know, you get a chance to cover so much, innit? Yeah. And you get a chance, we've got a chance to dive into what she does and there was a lot of stuff to cover last week as well, so. A great energy, man, as well. Yeah, yeah. she's got amazing energy. So She brought you back to life because you, you, you was like, my energy's back. Yeah, it was. Took my vitamins and that. Don't. Don't. No, don't. 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 It's very, just, just, just it's double very unnecessary. Are you awake? O- honestly. I ate before I came. You ate before you came, yeah. so, you, so you are awake. Yeah, I am. What are the chances of you being awake by the end of this episode? Don't. You're not going to draw me out. <laughs> Wait. Do you know how much you love you? Because the, the pod was even late because yeah. fans wanted to make sure yeah. that you weren't caught snoring in the back. Yeah. Listen, I would have That's proper, that's proper duty of kids. The, we didn't want the, you to report the, the hard HR. edit, the initial edit was mad. Well, could you hear the snoring proper part Bro, of the back? Hey. It, was, it was so mad. Hey. I was like, you know what, H, can you do something about this? Okay, but I just want to know, did you download it? You've kept the one that's got the snow on it. Absolutely. We added to the end of your compilation. Archives. That's the end of your compilation. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ben, it's Do you know what's so funny as well? Because I could hear you snoring and, I, and I, after a while, yeah, like my empathy started kicking in. So I've moved your mic, innit? Oh, and it's yeah. like he started snoring harder after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, the reverb was brazy. <laughs> you lot hate me. You she lot was snoring, hate you me. Know, she's snoring like snoring um, in 4K. She's snoring like how your, your, your dad will snore after he's done like an early morning shift. Yeah. Listen. With a newspaper on his lap. Yeah. And his glasses on here. <laughs> <laughs> on the tip of his nose. <laughs> now he's having a good sleep, boy. I didn't, I didn't even clock when like, you just stop inter- um, interacting with us. I look around. I said, who's that? Matt said, who's that? So you're telling me that you scrubbed... Um, my snoring from the audio, great, yeah. fantastic, but now everybody knows. So, oh no, we spoke about it in the pod. We we're saying that like you're yeah. currently sleeping and stuff, and then yeah. you're snoring in it. So yeah, it's from last week, and so. Oh, so you thought I'd scrub the edit and it came to come and reveal the news? No, no, everyone knows that you was you yeah. were snoring last you week. You don't hate me, and I put it in the description as well. You want me dead? She, she messaged me like, <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, oh my god, you want me dead? You she messaged me like, um, what you, what, what's this? I was like, yeah, no, people need to know, man. Oh, did you read the description? It's got a post on my story, innit? I swear. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, always read the description. Just to make sure I've not put anything crazy in there, innit? Um, no, honestly, I'm looking for grammatical errors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I hear it still. I hear it, yeah. Got to make, got to make sure we're on, we're on point, innit? Yep. Yeah. You know. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy to see you lot. Um, I was saying to Chris, I thought, she was, I thought she wasn't going to be here for this week, but it's... Next week. Next week. Be shaking my ass on a yacht in Dubai. In a, in a town. Fair. You know. Bikinis. Oh my god! Prepare for content. So can so can your 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 followers expect some close friends content? You're gonna load them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nuisance. What? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Like on. Oh god. 
like the way I see it, yeah, I'm jealous of people that get to see me. Energy in it. Yeah. I hear it. Van Zay, Van Zay, Van Zay sold yet. He's like, yeah. yeah. Nah, I hear My it. confidence, man. Wait Come me. Man. Wait Wait confidence, man. Yeah, Wait I hear me. it. You know, oh, it's you know. Be sensational. I do feel for you though. You're going at a very rough time. Oh now. God! Like, now, now, going to Dubai now. God, why? How many, how many of you are going? Two. Yeah, so, so two women going to Dubai whilst we're in the middle of like a blue oh, scandal. God. Yeah, it's, it's a bit rough still. My friend sent it to me, and she it was just wake up in capital letters, middle of the afternoon. You know like when you're just like, news. oh my God, what's going on? Yeah. So I was just like, wait, what? Mm. Why now? Of all the times, why now? Mm. Just the, just, uh. <laughs> oh, God. No one's going to perform me. I unfortunately, unfortunately do yeah. know what you're talking did you, about. Did you see the video or just saw the discussion? I did, and I don't know why I went there. This <laughs> is did, like. That's like curiosity the, killed the cat. Yeah, yeah. Because I haven't seen the video, <laughs> but I've just like, seen the, the discourse. Why am it. I fast to, to <laughs> check this? I told you. But obviously. I told you. I wanted to see if it was actually real and it was the most revolting thing that I've ever laid my eyes on. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not watching that. I, I I got the gist of what was going on. So there's a video of a, someone getting, are they getting pooed on? Oh, yeah. You're like yeah. eating the poo. Eating? It's just... Wow. Okay. <laughs> I want to, I want to context behind it. Like someone, <laughs> someone's in Dubai and this is uh, for money, isn't it? Yeah, so... The pr- allegedly, these babes. Um, <laughs> We've got a string allegedly on it. Just, it just for allegedly, no they go. Uh, they get flewed out yeah. by wealthy individuals. Individuals, and they these individuals. Their particular kink is to defecate in the mouths of young, beautiful women. Okay. So, one story I read. Um, it was like a confession of a a babe who uh, used to do this. There, yeah. And she said that um, all night the men were drinking lots of coffee. <laughs> and these girls ended up being there for the weekend. And just oh, it was sorry. just coffee and laxatives all weekend. So I was loading up the stomach for the yeah. shit. This is what it's like. I remember, you remember that era of like tag your sponsor when they're like all the all the, the leaked screenshots of conversations with um like these influencer babes and like a fake shake yeah. in, in Dubai were coming out or Abu Dhabi and like, would you do this with my young disabled brother? Would you do this with like a dog? And like, name, like, and we're having that conversation about naming your price, yeah? I couldn't, yeah. Never, I, never. Because what it is, is even even if there was, you know, someone puts like a stupid number out there, I'll probably kill myself before I get a chance to enjoy the money. Because I would, anytime I like spend that money, you ate shit. I would know what I did for it, innit? And even if no one else knew, I know, innit? <laughs> Poo mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Breath. And actually, on one level, on, on, <laughs> but on the other end, yeah, why I also don't rate it is because, like, you've got this like stupid amount of money. You could just give it away, but you want to do the most like embarrassing things to people. Dep- like, it's disgusting for them to get money and that. Like, yeah, that's the side of it. If you're if you're being like mature hat on, being super serious, I'm yeah. like, this is mad. Like, you could do just so much. Are you that, like? Are you guys that bored? Maybe I don't want to be that rich then. No. If that's what you no. guys do when you're no, bored and you. that. No, thank you. Oh, I don't think we got a hashtag off the cuff. What did you say? The intro. Basically. Yeah. Where do you come every week? Yeah. If you don't know the intro, don't, don't do that. So if you're listening for the first time, we're back for another week of podcasting. Yes, and my name is False Forever. Mr. Vans. I'm Chrissy, Chrissy Hive. Hey. Chrissy Hive. There we go, energy from Vans, yes. Yeah. Are you so hashtag do your, come off on? the cuff pod. Come on. Oh, yeah, I was back. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just, I'm just was baffled that you didn't even know what the so you the hashtag, hashtag was. what no just, it threw me but I was like is it do you know what that's the comfortability because I just feel like and that's the cockiness of like yeah we're here at this point you know who we are yeah but these yeah. are the for the first week so yes my name is Foss yeah. you know I think it's important that people know of course yeah you was just laid I let them know man let them know who's, who's talking unfortunately you join us on a week where there's a you know poo gate oh, so god Chrissy because we love you, I want you to beat these charges isn't it like you didn't get flued out for no, any debauchery no never debauchery. this is my heart you paid um, for your own can we stop doing that please what to the to the women's? Yeah, yeah, they can afford things. They can more than a lot of you niggas. Very yeah. true. Vans is a cufflink right now, but there are definitely women getting getting flued out for the yeah. But well. like it's two things can be true. The, yeah, but you just like mess. That's few. Don't far don't put mess whilst like, I'm talking about poo and stuff. Oh, we'll do that. The majority of the times, these women are hardworking, spending their money, 
on their vacation. If there's one thing women spend money on, holiday. Holidays, yeah. bro. Dinners, cocktails. Yeah. yeah. Brunches. Oh, they know how God. to organize. Yeah. Brother, if I got a woman to organize our weekend activities, it would have run seamlessly, bro. There was, there was one point I was like, what's going on, bro? I'm surprised you even had catering that someone had the foresight to think, mm, we're going to be hungry. Yeah. Like, it, was, it wasn't shambolic, but it was little points I'm like, yeah, if there was a woman around, like, psh, yeah, it would have gone even smoother. But yeah, you are right. The catering thing was good because we would have just been looking at each other like. That was a very good look. Yeah. You came up with that idea. Um, I disappointed it, weren't you? No, no, come on. Of course it wasn't. It's a fucking drink, bro. I would have been a diet all week. <laughs> Liquid diet. <laughs> no, it was one, it was one of the other boys, and they, they patterned that in it, and, mm. and they just got a break, and everyone sent money in that, which is cool, so. Does that person have a child? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I'll double check, though. <laughs> just to, why, does that, why does that? You never know. Okay. No, I just mean, it sounds like something a responsible man would do. Then it's like, oh, does he have a child? So you're trying to imply that I'm a responsible man? Yes. Okay. Not even an implication. You're... Very I'm probably one of the most responsible is men you like know. A, is that okay. like a non-sexual turn on for for you? Oh, organized shit. Okay. I so much love it. Someone's got a diary, you know, they're, they're on point. Yeah, like send me a G-count invite. <laughs> yes. You like the RSVP stuff, innit? Yeah. I hear it though. It makes me more powerful. G-count. <laughs> <laughs> love it. But it's good It's good to have stuff in your diary just like here, here, boom, 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 this is what's going on in it, so. I try to use my calendar. I try. You know what happens? I forget. We need to work on this, though. That's your friend. I forget, man. What? And sometimes I said. You, you, know, do, you, you just started getting along. You can't say that's your friend. It is. I hate when people do that. As soon as, as, soon as you do something wrong, that's like when, um, when, when you get in trouble at, at home or your, 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 your mother's child. Yeah. Can't get to your son. Yeah. I another non-sexual turn on for me is a man that can fix things okay like a little handy handy yeah like oh yes babe use your hands mm. I love that traditional settings you know. yeah we've mm. spoken about boys, and if you can't do it just watch YouTube man you get there in the end man yeah yeah at least try it mm. what about you lads non-sexual turn ons uh. silence <laughs> 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 Wow, okay. This nigga was, was cool, speaking cool, from cool. The, the, the Cuff League handbook and then, and then put the handbrake up. and RNA, yeah, bow. Yeah, back, back on schedule. Man, say silence, you know. Okay, well. I hear it though. Give me space to be free. You know? Yeah. Don't suffocate me. Okay. No? Cool. You support this message. Go nah, on. even like, um, just being in, like, ev- even being under each other. Silence. We don't have to speak all the time. Okay, yeah. Okay, thanks for yeah. clearing that up. Someone that values that. <laughs> sexual, non-sexual turn on. The way that come back, it's funny, it's like the way they just rolled off stuff very quickly. Like, just silence, like you been thinking about that, yeah. Yeah, silence, man, come, man. Over there, chat, man. Allow me, man. Did you say one? Nah, just, just piggyback off what Van said, no. silence as well. You know? Be an individual. <laughs> Be an individual? Yeah. We come as a, it's, we're pairing. <laughs> what, what, what do you want us to do? I don't allow it. <laughs> Oh, but but as of the time you guys are listening to this, um, Chris will be in the air. God willing, safe travels. Thank you. Know. you. Oh no, you should have landed at this point. I'm very she- Nigerian. Why are you just telling people about my flight? No, no, we, we've got to take that signal away. And bro, everyone's ain't got red dye. You're gonna be fine, bro. God is God's blessed. That's why we have faith. God's blessed you already. You're gonna okay, be absolutely oh, fine. Please don't be telling people. And you're gonna land super safe, and you're gonna mm. come back even safer. Tan. With an amazing tan. Looking sensational. And some, some hopefully some good stories for us. Yeah. Okay, well, just keep it in the WhatsApp group, whatever, whatever <laughs> floats your boat, you know. You know how I feel about that. Yeah. Or oversharing and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Like, it's weird. The internet has made people very comfortable. Like, you shouldn't know as much, we shouldn't know as much as we do about so many people. Mm. But people have been rewarded though, isn't it? Because it's like, if you can be more real and give people bits, bits and pieces of your life, you can sell them product. Yeah. We didn't speak. We didn't speak like last week, did we? With the whole um, DJ Envy thing and his wife, or did, or did we? Yeah, no, I don't think we did. We didn't. So I don't know if you've seen the clip. I think they've got like a shade room interview. So they've got a book that they've got um, that they're selling. Obviously, got the podcast as well. Um, and in the book, they talk about her not orgasming for ten years through penetration. Obviously, that's the headline, isn't it? And later on, he broke it down, and I don't know if that was to clean it up and that, but she said she was faking orgasms for ten years, isn't it? And they got together and were like. 16 and 17. That's a whole lot of acting. Yeah, so now you've got everyone in the internet looking at your your husband kind of crazy. 
and looking at you a bit weird, like Rasa, you was faking it for 10 whole years. It's smelly. Very smelly. Mm. Why do we need to know? We've got to sell this book. We can't just sell this book of, oh, yeah, I love hip hop. <laughs> 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 what do you know if this is? <laughs> you think anybody wants to read 400 pages of I Love Hip Hop? Yeah. I'm a DJ, go DJ, That's go it. DJ, go. Yeah. No? Sell nah, it to the right. portrait. It's, we've been together for a long time. There's infidelity, you know. The headline grabbing stuff. Yeah, bro. You're salacious stuff. Come on, man. That's yeah, we want to get to the nitty and gritty. We like the mess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, do you know, it's public like Gabriel Union, well. I have heard so much about that woman's marriage against yeah. my will. Mm. Who's this? But Gabriel Union. Oh, right. Okay, he cheated. We have we have heard. You people yeah. have moved on. It's enough. What do you want to sell? Sell it and go. Mm. Put it on your website. That's fine. Make but NFT. Honestly, anything at this point. Just, yeah, I would like silence yeah. from Gabriel Union. Mm. Ludacris did that shit and no one had said a peep. Wait, he did what? And now you're blown up. I never knew. <laughs> yeah, like he had a... He had a child, like he cheated. Oh, like a break a baby in that. Break baby. Something like that. Hey man, something to keep on the wraps. He's got his wife back and you know, had two more. <laughs> <laughs> Luna! <laughs> <laughs> now he's awake. Man's had that one in the tuck, you know. That's, that's real nigga shit, man. You get her back and say, yo man, hold, hold two picnic there, man. Sit down, man. No? Nah, listen, they just, when when you described um, Gabrielle Union's thing with D, with D Wade, it just popped up into my mind, and I was like, "Yeah, dude, it's kind of go away, Scott just free. Like, yeah, free. just style But it. maybe he's uh, does he? It, do they sell their? Are they selling their relationship? They come into package like DJ Amy, like I said, he's got the podcast with his wife. They've got the book, you know. <laughs> nah, him and his wife just look great on Instagram. She's sensational. Okay, so. It depends on if, like, if you're, if you're trying to put a woman out there and she's not, no, not, just not to disrespect her, we don't know of having any, like, specific talent or you're the, you're the person next to the person. It's just, it's not a diss. Why do we know DJ Envy? He's a DJ and a radio presenter. Mm. That's why. I don't, we don't, I don't know what his wife does in it. Maybe it's, maybe it's not that. Okay, cool. Now she's a podcaster. That's fine. But Is prior to that, we know you for being someone's wife. And there's nothing wrong with that, but. When you now put them in that space or putting them in front of the camera, you've, you've got to sell the reason why you're here as well, outside of this. And he got caught cheating in it, so this could be the extra little thing on the other <laughs> end, isn't it? That like you've got to kind of sit through and firm when you get. Because do, do you ever remember hearing the um, audio of him apologising to her on live radio? Yeah, uh, nah, nah. Yeah, he apologised to on, on air, innit, about it. So, like, it's just me, maybe because I like my, my petty brain, I think sometimes like, yeah, we can forgive and move on, but every now and then you're going to get a little jab here and there. Bow, bow. And you just got, got kind of sit through the pain, innit? Oh my gosh. Because he was on there, they had an um, interview with Rick Ross and he was talking about, um, just basically clearing up saying that. Because Ross asked him the question about like, so what, like? You're oh, fucking... You ain't got to give me a wife, <laughs> he's like, just for clarity, <laughs> not through penetrative sex, but through the other stuff, she gets to where she needs to get to, innit? But, you know. I think that's also maybe not the length of time, but that is real for a lot of women mm. having a period of um, faking it. Oh, sorry, I thought you were gonna say something what you different. Were say? I thought you were talking about like not every woman orgasms through penetrative sex. That's also true. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you were going with yeah. that. I agreed before I heard what you said. Yeah, um, but yeah, are we allowed to have adult conversation? Have you guys ever faked it in the bedroom? No, no. It's just like, but you give me like they're the clipboard vibes, like. Ooh. You hate me. You actually. Is that gonna me. work? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna strike that off the list. <laughs> Poor Doddy's in there. Why would I have a clipboard? Hella, hella water breaks. <laughs> Why would I have a clipboard? Go out there, talk to your meat, and when you're ready, come oh back my in. Gosh. <laughs> have a one to one with your meat. Yeah, have a one to one with your meat, and then come back in. Um. No, I just be like, oh. Well, here's what we can do better next time. Okay. Yeah. But you talk about, it, I think. If you, everyone has an off day and it's never going to be, it's like sex isn't always like it's in the movies and it's perfect and like, New Year's Eve fireworks. It's not like yeah. that all the time. But why that shocks me is because as a couple or people that are having sex with each other for 10 years, you're married. Yeah. What do people talk about then? What do you actually talk about? How has it been like that long and you don't know 
what's what if it's a if it's a casual fling i get that but if this is if you're continuously having shit sex or you're having to fake your orgasm mm. why aren't you talking about it yeah and he wouldn't know that she's acting because he's never given her an orgasm you know, so he doesn't even know what a real reaction from her could be like no because he said because they i think they like had an argument and she brought it up and then he's like no i've been obviously i've been killing it like <laughs> death i was just giving like a thousand pumps and you know he, that's his definition of killing it that's, that's, that's partially part of our problem as well. We, we, we just go for the velocity. <laughs> 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 and sometimes slow and steady wins the race. Some of the man is like, yeah. so ridiculous. You gotta switch it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta switch it up. When I take it for MLA, ground and pound. Yo, chill, bro. <laughs> it's like, are you enjoying this, bro? <laughs> oh, go on. <laughs> but have either of you guys ever faked it? Yeah, I've had to fake it before. That's one thing oh. men don't really do. I've had to fake it before. I think I have, you know. Yeah. But that's like when you've probably been going like you're a couple rounds in now. Was it that night? No, that no, you... it's not the infamous okay. night, please. I, I, beat, I beat those charges. Thank <laughs> I just, you, man. I just my, wanted... my, my brand is bigger than that, okay. man. <laughs> I come in and I talk about geopolitics. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about pop culture stuff, <laughs> race, <laughs> you know, <laughs> colorism, <laughs> a whole lot of things in here. And all you want to talk about is the infamous night where I use some assistance to get to a certain place. Yeah, but the assistance is crazy, bro. Shh. You're all shouting, bro. I don't know why everyone's shouting, bro. Yeah? <laughs> Why are you yelling? <laughs> God, look at the friends you sent me. <laughs> oh, you said it on the pod. But I've said it ages ago. Chris would never let me let him never, down. So. Never, ever, ever. Um, yeah, the couple rounds in and that's like, bro, this they, they, <gasps> no, they, I have. Yeah, they, this not so ain't gonna, this, not not happening, they, this not ain't gonna come. I have. Uh, uh, I have. Uh, <laughs> I've just thought about a time when I have. Yeah, so you faked it. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. I feel like a lot of women do it more so, more so than a man them do. Oh. He's disappointing yourself and you got a flashback. Yeah. Rough times, man. Sad, sad times. Yeah, no, man. Did, did, it won't come, man. That, that, that last night won't come, man. So it's like, we could be here till tomorrow, like, darling. It's not going to come. So, yeah, let's, let's call it a night. Yeah. It bees like that, man. Why do you look at me like that? Because yeah? you're just very disgusting. Me? Yeah. But I, mean, I think the I message, I think the message is, though, like, to, I think if you're in a, a long term relationship, like, um, the message is to kind of have those honest conversations. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people do it out of fear um, that they're going to really hurt the other person because, you know, like the ego is fragile and people don't want to um, be told certain things, especially mm. like when you're giving yourself to someone intimately. Mm. That's right, yeah. yeah. But there's also a way of delivering the message as well. Yeah. Like, I yeah, think don't, if don't, you... Don't tell me, like, when we're beefing and that. It's like you've kept that, that, that trump card in your, your pocket. You want to uh, when it. you're beefing, it comes out ruthlessly as well. Bro. Yeah, no and tax. The thing, I'll, yeah. I'll never be able to forget how you said it, the way your face yeah. looked. <laughs> yeah. Your sex is shit. Like, it will either come out in the most cruddiest way or said so eloquently that, like, it pisses you off even more. Like he really thought about this and he started using, yeah. blowing, he started blowing yeah. grammar and everything. Start speaking like HR. <laughs> yeah. Women love that one, bro. <laughs> bro. I, I, and you always find out like, that, that's also another way to find out, yeah, that um, well, a babe on, on that you used legs. to flirt with has got a man. Yeah, how, how, how you doing today, babe, for X? Fine, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. How, how do I come back from that? I'm there trying to pull rabbits out of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to do, bro? <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a thing, man. It's a thing. Right, there's, almost, there's, there's text etiquette in it. Like, mm. I've asked you how you are. Ask me how I am back. Like, can we... Nah, they're closing the conversation. Yeah. I respect it, though. Yeah. But when you don't want to speak to someone... You put a full stop like, as well. No, okay. But so I, res I respect the air more. That's grammar. How, how do you feel about full stops? Because I get quite a lot of flack for this. Oh, we're putting full... Mm. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. But I, I respect the air more. When a baby's vexed, they'll full stop you to death. <laughs> Isn't Chris, you're Using not, it unnecessarily. You're notorious like. for that. I, I just always use full stops. Are you, are you quite, are you like proper grammar? And stuff yeah, in it, so I don't just, do like, it, it actually speak, upsets me like T-H-X. Like what? Ah, okay. Don't do that, that's weird. Is that, that one a little thing like a turn off an ick for you? Like, <laughs> W-Y-D. 
<laughs> nigga, you Honestly, 38. Block. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the king of New York <laughs> wearing chunk <chocolate> letters? <laughs> you were born in 1968. <laughs> now, do you hear it? But it is, it's just text language, isn't it? Like, no. No. Of course, I'm not saying that you need to like speak in the Queen's English, but yeah. just things like abbreviating words that don't need to be abbreviated, like was up. No, no, I, I'm down for that one still. Mm. But yeah, yeah. Like WZ. No one put WZ, but like, you know. Listen, man, like, I feel like I've become a slave to my keypad. And the reason being is that like, there was a moment where autocorrect wasn't working on my phone <laughs> and I was struggling. <laughs> I was like, just pr the predictive text, sorry. Like, I don't want to write the whole thing, man. Just come up with it so I could just press that one button. Nah, technology's fucking us over, That's man. what I'm saying, bro. They need to make us go and read our GCSEs like, to, see, to text. see who is still smart. Listen. Do you know what I'm saying? When was the last time like you wrote on a, like a entire page? Because I've seen certain man necessary has been flogging them. That word has been flogging certain like, man. That is, I hate that yeah, word. Yeah, so do I. Oh, really? That yeah, one? yeah. it the gets spell. me. That one, oh my. And the unnecessary, I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> help me out, autocorrect, help me out, bro. <laughs> Where's that red? Where's that red line? Technology is fucking with us, man. Where's that red line at? We don't even, we don't even write anything out with, with like we don't use it. We don't use pen and paper anymore. Like, I do. He's, he's still yeah, doing at yeah. work. It's good that though. Got a notepad. Yeah. I'm just because just... even when I was at uni, like I, I was, I was, I was very big on at the time. It's I've regressed, but then I was like, I write like a large chunk of my assignment out, mm. and then, I just, I just have to see it. Yeah, in my, in my same. own handwriting first. Yeah, yeah, I've got a notebook, like, and you know, I take notes sometimes at work. Um but it's just so like, cause I'm writing so quickly, like it, I don't even know how to write shorthand, but it looks like shorthand, bro. Like, it's, 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 it's someone's reading, I'll be like, fuck. Yeah. There's nothing worse than making a note yourself. Yeah. Going back to it later on and not being able to read it. <sighs> You're just like, what, what is it that I was trying to say? I was because this doesn't make sense. I was like, these notes are shit. Because I don't even know what, what I've taken down right now. It's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. Well, yeah, man, shout out to uh, technology, innit? Only good thing, good only bad. thing, only thing is, only thing that I really write on is birthday cards now. With all these little kitty parties that I'll be going Outside to. Outside the function. And I know you're, you're writing it angrily as well because I think it's fuck another five pounds to put in a card. You <laughs> 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 oh, start being mate. vexed. Why is my kid so popular, man? Every weekend birthday party. Trust bro. me, man, and like having to be there as well. With all these kids just making mad noise, and I'm just like, kids what's are, what's the um generic like dad chat when I was like they're on the bouncy castle and that? Do you, oh, do, you, do you get involved and have a chat with them, or you just hang around in one corner? Yeah, I mean, sometimes like uh, it depends on what they're talking about. Yeah, if it's nothing of interest, like I I have my distance. Okay, and then um I don't know if they all of a sudden start talking about football, oh, all of a sudden interest. That's what men do, man. That's, yeah, that's that's the co that's the common one that just you know. Yeah. Just find a little because right like now. I don't want to talk about anything else. I'm not trying to be your friend, bro. Okay. I hear yeah. it, man. Okay. Just just because our kids are cool <laughs> doesn't mean me and you yeah. are cool. I just need to know who you are. That's it. So Very important. would you? You wouldn't go out of your way to strike a strike up a relationship with your child's best friend's parent? Yeah, I mean, like if it happens organically, then of course. Mm. Um, and if it's someone that. Uh, my child is close to you. Mm. Obviously, we're going to be in contact with the the, the parent. Yeah. Um, a lot of the time, and um, so yeah, it 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 will happen that way. So, but just people, just other people's um parents at the party. Yeah, because like because when you go to a party, there's going to be like other dads in it. Like even, you know, there was one time I went um to a kiddie party in one of those um. Trampoline places, what's it called? I Flip out, jump, jump one of places. Yeah, oxygen. O oxygen, yeah. Okay. So I went there, bro, and whilst they're all there, like, and all the other parents are doing their thing, I pull out my laptop and I stream the football match. They don't chat to me. AirPods in. So why's your, why's your daughter's there somersaulting? They're watching Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. They're not serious. They're one, not serious. Eye, one eye on a game, one eye on, on the activity. That's hilarious, you know. That's yeah. very antisocial. I'm sorry, like, you know. And they say men can't multitask. Uh -huh. Don't even get me started. <laughs> Don't. Yeah. 
That's hilarious. Like, I, if I saw that, I would I would be killing you, bruv. Man's there watching the football. Whilst everyone else's kids are interacting with that, people are probably there either joining with their children, man's watching the football. But you that's know, dedication there's gonna be, right there. There's going to be a dad that's just like... No, no, there's definitely a dad thinking, fuck, why don't I think of that? Yeah. There's definitely someone thinking, Ugh. Trying to pull out his phone and that going on, just going on the app. Then yeah. they realise he's got AirPods in, so they can't even like shimmy over and be like, oh, yeah. what's the score? Yeah, yeah, I carry like my um, laptop with me like all the time anyway, so. <laughs> Actually, wait, let's not put that message out there because you know, things, things are rough for certain people now. People be like, oh, he's always got his laptop on him. Oh, okay. No, no, let's, let's, not, let's not put that message out there, bro. Nigga would. Oh, okay. You know. Interesting text over there. <laughs> That's just Can you face your podcast, please? Mad. I mean, you're you're right in my face direct eye line. Yeah. Face the camera. Wonderful view, by the way. As Shut well. up. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you're so no, annoying. You're also because you try to fight it so hard, <laughs> and the like, cheeks are just rising and that. Just, cool, just smile, darling. Smile through the pain. <laughs> this is a good song if you talk to us if we've been going gym or if we just become fat over the last week or so. My eyes work. <laughs> You know what? Maybe you need a couple of weeks off. <laughs> <laughs> so, lads, there we go. How many times have you been to the gym in the last seven days? I had about two workouts before the before the stag. That was about it. Yeah, I went twice. Yeah. Okay, but bank holiday weekend, so I will cut you guys some slack. Thank you, man. I appreciate yeah. the grace. You know, yeah. I did go on the weekend though. Okay, you not got enough cardio from running around like foxes. I mean. We have to yeah. go network and see the people, man. The streets mm, missed us. Mr. Walker. We have to be out and about and enjoy. Just because you this week. I can't go to a function, yeah, like unless it's 28 plus now. Oh, really? I ain't got the energy for these young people, bro. So is it the the people in the corner doing the TikTok dances that is infuriating? Um, like, uh-huh. <laughs> picture like the first couple times you started going raving, yeah? Yeah. Like, or you're still in the excitement of it, yeah? Like in your early 20s, when a a tune comes on and you're just running to the dance floor, bruv, with all your boys to mosh pit. Don't do that. Don't be that old guy in the club. I'm the old guy in the club. I'm in the back. I'm in the cut. Like, but please, yeah? (laughs) Be guided. Handle yourself the, the, properly. The fact that you're using stuff like be guided, you know, this nigga old as hell. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I said the other week about when we was like, when, when business DJing, so I do get, there are certain moments where it's clearly, your, it's too, too young, like loud Bro, me. Bro, you're now. walking through like with your drink and they're so excited, they're moving too much and like, they're Spilling knocking into drink. you and that. Like, man, like, this is premium run right here, just spill it. I, I mean. Hear it. I hear it. I, it is, now we just got to pick and choose more, Do you know it? what? They're stress-free, innit? Yeah. yeah, stress free raving that is. Bro, they're not paying council tax yet. What do they know, oh. bro? They don't fucking know nothing, they're, bro. These niggas are jumping so high, <laughs> and then you've got the niggas on stage that are doing it. The, the, the no, you old, bro. You're old. Just like okay, you're old, come on, bro. you can get there. <laughs> Mom was the like, MC, the, sorry, the, yeah, the, the MC. MC. Donnie's singing like, and I'm like, yo, bro, just you know, more talented, isn't it? You have to do, bro. Got to keep the crowd going, isn't it? Keep and yelling. Going. There was an other old nigga that was like, bro, is, has it been like this the whole time? And I was like, yeah. Well, you guys having an old nigga convention in the corner? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm finished. <laughs> bro, I was like, nah, I need to get out of here. So if, if, so if you hear Vansies now just going coffee shops, going shisha lounge and that, you know nah, why? day parties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the, you know. Yeah, that's it. Come on. The mature crowd do that. Yeah. The younger lot still want to do the night thing. Bro, they don't know about a night oh, increase. Wow. Come on, man. Like, they, bro, bro, we're, we're going through mm-hmm. it, bro. No. Imagine your friend telling you to meet them at midnight. That like, we're gonna get there just before midnight, what? Yeah, Co- the culture around parties changed on it, so. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, day parties. I'm picturing like 2019 summertime, 28 oh. West, DLT. Yeah. Did I guess? No, I don't mean Elite what? venue, that. That's good. That was the elite venue. Mm. We always do that with stuff. Once we start enjoying and it gets big and big, we start reminiscing about the old oh. days and that. Oh back my in my God. day. Yeah, back in my day. Was 28 West the one that's got the outside space? Yeah, yeah it's by the oh. water. Really, um, yeah, by the Canary water. Wolf. Mm. Yeah, really good space. Those those things, they're now streaming summer in it, so. But yeah, shout out to everyone. I see, I'm seeing a lot more people throwing parties and doing stuff in it, so. It's nice. Yeah, everyone, everyone day party up the place, innit? Enjoy yourself. Get them at a good time. You can still get to work in the morning if you want. Yeah. You know. So. But you just work from home the next day. Yeah, that's very true, innit? So. I know you asked us about gym. Do you guys see the video of the um, young lady in the gym? 
She was about to do some hip thrusts, and the young man decided to come and try and <laughs> shove her a gym mat underneath Did you say her. Shub? Yeah, just. I'm not old. <laughs> I'm, I'm still down with young slang. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like we like a young me. I'm gonna phone bitch and say, listen, how's my slang this week? Oh my gosh, mm. yuck! But carry on. Should yeah, we? no, so, you saw. So, oh yeah, he's trying yeah. to shove the mat under her. Um, she's actually recording a session, and then she obviously tells my man, "Yo, listen, kind of like in my space," and and I'm recording, and then he obviously clocks he's been recording and just like take. I don't know if he took the mat, but he walks up and leaves her alone in it. Um, and that really went then crazy viral and create, create a whole discussion around mm. like, you know, women being in gyms, just pit men invading women's spaces, making women uncomfortable, you know. Because you asked us every week about going to gym. He was so. being a little bit invasive though in the clip so, in the beginning. A little, bro, a, 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 a little. I don't know if any time I've been in a gym where like, if it's a stranger, I would actually go over to them. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know them at all. You wouldn't all. have done it if a man was there. But so, you know what's mad though? That was an eject response from a lot of people. What I do like is we wait is twenty four hours sometimes and stuff, yeah. And I saw a lot of women that actually go to that gym. Mm. Well, I like, know people that go to that gym. I said, no, my man does this to everybody. Mm. He's just either a little bit weird, and I don't want to be disrespectful. Oh, possibly on the spectrum, okay. yeah. like he doesn't leave people alone in the gym, innit? Yeah. And apparently the man them in there have like talked to him a few times about it. Obviously that video went kind of brazy, and then he got back to him. He obviously had, from what from what I saw online, you never you obviously don't know what's what, but enough people that I interacted, I've started saying, yo, my man had to turn his phone off because it got kind of crazy for him, you know? Um, wow. And it, it it didn't, it's not nicer, but it didn't help that like underneath the video, homegirl then is uh, promoting her, her own um, business endeavors oh, off man. the back of the video in it. So like, maybe this isn't one of them sp- particular incidences where a guy's just being super creepy around women, but the statement still applies. It, it mm-hmm. definitely happens. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, there are, and there are some guys that yeah the way they approach women in the gym they will never approach men in it definitely you know so but this is what people do at the end of the day on Twitter when their tweet goes viral <laughs> by the way listen to my podcast <laughs> 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 we we'll never be we all do it bro yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, everyone does it yeah and I just it's just a shame that obviously it's off like um, off the you know, the, the, yeah the, the other person is now getting abused you know yeah. and Especially if you're a regular goer of that gym and you know of this person and yeah. everyone knows this Donny's characteristics. Yeah. Um, the then, thing I got was that like you know, he 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 means well. Yeah. Coming from a bad place, just like just kind of leave everybody alone. You know. I mean, what's what's your experience been like in the gym? Have you had any weird? Nothing that overt. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me, but it is. It can be really frustrating when. Like you're trying to work out if you're trying to go to the the weight rack oh, okay. and there's people just staring at you and usually like where the mirrors are that's where all of the guys are doing like the Mr. Muscle on that yeah so you walk over you, a lot of the time you just don't walk over there because you know yeah, you I've just, heard of women yeah, being intimidated about the, about, about the weight area so yeah you do get men that just stare like you'll be in certain machines and you can just you, you didn't move them. the little abductor <laughs> <laughs> Hey, look, that machine is brazy. You know, so funny. I was sitting at that machine one time, yeah, working my inner fire, yeah, and one time he walked past and look, he gave me was like almost disgust. Like, how, dare I, how dare I be over there? Well, the there. thing is, is that, like, um, I think obviously you have to respect um, people's space, respect women's space, you know, don't trouble them, like, or like. Is it off the cards? Tr- to like move to women in the gym? Bro, like, I don't know. Like, I think if there's signs there, yeah. like you have to kind of, this is just me personally, in it, in, in how yeah. I operate, it's off vibes and signs in it. Like, that I can approach you in that way, more so than just going off like on a whim at the gym. Mm. Um, it's just, I don't know, like people meet people anywhere in it. Mm. But just nowadays, like you could, you could just never, you, you can never be sure. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, you just have to deal with it based off vibes, more so because next thing you know, you're um, afraid on the internet. Even though, like, you could have meant well, yeah, you you become public enemy number one. So, like, it's I'm not trying to put myself in that kind of situation. Um, but but if somebody say that, that that maybe still comes from like not you particularly, but that statement comes still comes from a bit of a bad place where it's like. If it wasn't for the fact that maybe I would get plastered on the internet, you might move differently. 
Because I think the issues, the issues, the issues around the like is around invading people's personal space and making them uncomfortable. So if you're going, ah, oh, I'm not going to do this because I don't want to become a main character on the internet. Is it just purely because other people would see me? Now, if nobody knew, would well, I invade the space? You have no, to read the room. Yeah, and it's yeah, you have to you have to read the room, and and also it's just based off. Um, it's vibes and stuff, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and 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 you hear of these things like you know, like a lot of women have had unfortunate situations or experiences um, that they talk about. Facts, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So then you kind of gauge, and you and you know, like in your mind, like well, it's all personal, isn't it? Like I I know what's acceptable and what's not in it. Like I know that. Even like sometimes in the gym, even like asking if you're next, mm. like or how many sets do you have left? Sometimes like how a person looks at me or how a woman looks at me, it's like <laughs> so I'm like whoa! Like I, I hear all that, but, you know what I mean? but on one hand, is I'm like fuck that. That's like, like that's literally gym etiquette. Like, um, excuse me, um, how many have you got left? Yeah, yeah, yeah same yeah. as someone asks yeah. me. Anybody, woman, man, woman. How many have you got left? Because everyone's trying I'm, to work. Yeah, out I'm not. Well. I'm not. I'm not saying that. No, I'm not, saying, I'm not saying for you. I'm just saying that. Like, I'm just saying. I've that seen that as well. I'm, I'm, people, no. people critique that. Like, oh, how can you even ask? But my point how is, got left? my point is, is the, is the reaction of just oh the energy asking. you're getting back. So let like, the the reaction that I'm getting from asking how many sets do you have, um, tells you already that if you're approaching them on a, on that oh, kind of vibe, I what you mean. yeah, it's probably gonna be. Even worse than that. <laughs> Their walls already up. Kind of don't speak to me at all while I'm in here. I, okay, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. It is, I think, in my experience anyway, when you have a man, or when I've had a man approaching me in the gym, yeah. I do feel like my guard is up a little bit. Yeah. Because it's like, what you come, really? What you come to speak to me about of all yeah. the people in the gym? I saw you had bad me. form. Your ankles are shaking. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> not my ankles. <laughs> it's just you know what, like, um, but I don't believe, like, you know, that people should really speak on the staring thing. We all stare, but there's stare etiquette. Like, because what, what, what was the conversation around staring? What was that? It's just like people saying that, like, you know, people, um, men staring at women in the gym makes them feel uncomfortable. It's maybe it's like. For me, I think that everyone looks around, everyone looks at each other in it at least once or twice in it. It's just that the Donnies that are staring, staring. at you <laughs> uncomfortably, like, yo, why are you staring for so long? I don't like anyone looking at me like whilst I'm doing my soul. thing. Like I'm about to die under this barbell. You know, <laughs> looking at me. Instead of you to fucking save me. Like, why are you looking at me this long, bro? Why do you keep staring? But the man them do it to each other and like they're thinking in their head like why is Donny staring at me, bro? <laughs> like, yeah. It depend and depending on what age group you're in, it's like rah, is Donny screwing, man? Yeah, so you can see like everyone's in that, everyone's tired. Everyone stares. Obviously, people people stare, but then like but then it kind of I'm not saying valid is what you're saying, but at the same breath you're saying that people people stare and make people uncomfortable, isn't it? So yeah, like and that's why I would I would could understand that people might go on don't stare at people or have issues around people staring at but like how are you gonna people police people's eyes in it yeah this is it it's but hard, like it? but you can but if, you know, if, that. if you know you make someone if you know you make someone uncomfortable or it's a weird setting to be in in general like would i move, would i move to someone in the gym no would i be mad at someone if they did no but i would just step steady mm. <laughs> because it's not just obviously the internet is one space reward is, an, is another space mm. as well but in both spaces, I've had enough accounts of people saying they don't say feel that that's the setting to do it in or feel uncomfortable in it. So just read the room. Yeah, it is. I was always gonna be careful. Somebody like these, I wouldn't say buzzwords, but just like words that we we see online. Like I'll just read the room. Not everybody's able to read the room. Or you're not the same. Niggas aren't smooth enough. Yeah, <laughs> that's no, it. It's weird, yeah. but the whole. It definitely is a thing, like, <clears throat> when you have, like, you know, like, Vans is right, people, everyone stares. Yeah, everyone has eyes. you have people that are, like, staring, staring. Yeah. And you're, you know, like, on the 
this machine. Yeah, or when in, ladies are squatting and that. Yeah, in a situation like that, it's already not uncomfortable. What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but you could, you haven't watched me on every other machine like that, but. So what you're saying is, is like, if, if you're really about this gym life, watch when I'm working on my shoulders as well. You know, like that. Yeah. I mean, right, no, don't do that. Got them Amazon leggings. <laughs> Come on. The thing is, yeah, it's this conversation. Come we're, on. We're gonna, if we're going to pull the layers back a little bit, yeah, <laughs> there's a lot about the gym where you're, they're selling sex. Yeah. So like, you've got the ladies on the internet where like, she's working her elbows, but all we can see in the shot is bum. One, Donnie there is topless. Like, yeah. a lot of the gyms, a lot of gym content is around selling sex, isn't it? So it also doesn't surprise me when in real time, People are in that same space, like I said, no things like Amazon leggings or, oh, that person's kind of, you know, scantily clad, you know? Oh, <laughs> scantily oh, is that, is, scantily is, clad. Is that man wearing <laughs> grey joggers with no pants? Like, what? Bro, there's, there, I'm not gonna, there, there, there's, Wait, what? there's a there's a, a PT done that definitely on the ground, I see my man doing that. Like, people sell sex via the gym. Yeah. And like, these things happen. Just that reference I'm making, people know I'm talking, I'm not gonna say my man's name, but people know, people know I'm talking about, if you like, watch a lot of fitness content and you know follow certain personal trainers on the on the gram and stuff so like i, I wear pants every day bro <laughs> 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 i don't know what's saying i'm being outside of my house where i've not got my pants on you know like why bro yeah you've <laughs> got like a lot of these pts now on um Instagram and TikTok, that's how they promote themselves. Like, why can I see your nipples, bro? Like, it's a lot, there's a lot going on here, bro. And so, but yeah, the gym, they sell sex in that space, innit? So, it doesn't shock me when Joe Public go out there and are now in the gym a little bit too randy and that and start looking around and maybe can't control themselves. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, wear what you want. Everyone's entitled to do what they want, but. Just, just wearing so little in the gym, it just doesn't even seem sanitary. Oh, in the, in the in the time of pandemic and stuff. Yeah, just even before then, mm. because people don't be wiping shit down. Like people are just sweating everywhere. Mm. People well, it was never really on the agenda like Pride, on it. Like, hey, listen, when the gyms first reopened after the pandemic, everyone was wiping things down yeah. to the death. But I'm saying, how, now, how, how on it we were abandoned. then compared to pre-pandemic? Of course, bring your towel. If mm. you're sweating everywhere, of course, what? Like, don't just be leaving sweat on a bench or all over a treadmill and that. But like Vans are saying, the fact they've got like spray bottles and yeah. wipes, like people, gyms had to now have that as a facility in the gym as well. People had to go out of the way, but now things you, you don't, you st it's, st it's still there, but it's not as not enforced, before. isn't it? I would still put a towel down like beforehand because yeah. the idea of just like my bare skin, just just touching them. Uh, yeah. uh, Everyone's got to look after yeah. themselves, isn't it? So no, thank you. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just found that the, the discourse around that, and that video interesting because like the first things first, you go, yo, don't approach women in that manner, innit? Or no, no. Um, if it was a man, he wouldn't approach him, innit? Which I get. Yeah, because how he just crashed into her. Like, yeah. I was like, yo. And what was killing me as well is, is bro, it, why this ain't even normal, what, Like, bro. the person already sat there about to like lift all this weight, yeah? Do you think they've not already thought of this? Like, and who are you? Are you even qualified to be giving gym advice? Yeah. You know? Just because you've got a bit of chest. Yeah, <laughs> look who tricep, man, wants to fucking. <laughs> be PT gains. Because I've been there in the gym where, like you get like unwarranted. I didn't ask for any of this like assistance, innit? Oh, people give you advice? Yeah, I've had advice before. Oh, I thought. Well, you thought I don't, I, I don't, I don't need it. Oh, no, I thought you'd be the person like giving people advice. If you come in the gym, podcast. you're so like, strong. You're crazy. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> She's coming over mic. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's a weird setting in general, innit? Just like, loud people, and I do get that. So, yeah, just take time out there, innit? I agree. Yeah. Step steady, as Foles would say. No? Yes. Okay. Yes, Chrissy. Yeah, is there a problem? No, 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 no. no okay, no, great. No, no. Your comedic What's timing. Sensational, I know. Yeah, I love it. It's, you look you look for my trouble. Like I said, if you, didn't, if you need an extra week off, just let us know. Whatever. Yeah. You already know what my plan is. What's your plan? Taking over. Oh, you want to take over? Yeah. Are we going to see like a, a spin-off podcast? Are you going to have new like ladies and stuff? My little um, face on the blue thing. Bloop. This and is then all of a sudden you're just gonna get erased. Me? Oh no, where's he gone? Listen, I'm not getting anywhere, man. This is, if I ain't here, it's over. You know, one's fans. I hear you. We had we had to pod in it, so just take all of it over, and then Essie will come on. 
Hey, so you can't rely on SDB every week. <laughs> I can definitely not rely on SDB every week. <laughs> here every week. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with that, boy. I remember there's, there's been times where SDB's meant to be here. I get a message like five before. I'm sorry. I can't make it. I'm going to be super late in that. So, yeah. yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, yeah. This, this, this why the, show has, the show must go on. The show you know? must go on. And when, when I wasn't here, Vans held it down. And when he wasn't here, I held it down. So, you know, the pod comes first. You get me? Yeah, I yeah, love that for yeah. you guys. Yeah, I'm... What's the, what's the lesser of the two is, out of the jealousy and envy? Which one's, which one's lesser? Oh, I'm mm. going to say little, little Joe going away. I, I, I need to get, get what I've been saying, but it's, it's dope. Like you need to need a break and stuff. And mm. I think enjoy envy's worse. Life. Envy's worse. Okay, we'll go with jealousy then. Yeah, well, no, okay. gel, because I see an evil gel, softening. Yeah, just oh, little jelly. Gel. Yeah. <laughs> that, that softens it a little bit. <laughs> oh, mm, gel. Yeah. Well, gel. I'll bring you back... Um, I don't know, like a grain of sand or something. <laughs> I'm not a good woman. Can I have a key ring, please? That's that's what I'd like. Or a fridge, okay. fridge magnet. Yeah. And a, okay, anything else? Uh, some oud. Do you know what? No. Okay. I you got to say yes. <laughs> 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 um, yes, I can 100% and, do that for you. Uh, you guys that? deserve. Just a, just a, some a cheeky plug for the, like Lambos when I get out of there. Mm. Like, okay. I can pattern up and just do some contact for the gram and that you know the big boys go to Dubai and they Me, I'm not chilling with any big boys oh please oh you're trying to beat the charges it's just okay cool it's just you just you and your mate the money yeah. that you from your own account yeah. to pay yeah. for your trip I don't want to bamba with for. anybody yeah, yeah. yeah. worked hard Netflix. you don't want to bamba with the big boys no right? okay. not in the UAE no, not currently right now not there no the climate is rough okay so yeah shout, shout, out, to, shout out to my black queens spending their hard earned cash facts like drug dealers huh like drug dealers Oh yeah, you lock as well. When it comes to spending, you lock as spend, boy. That's what they say. Yeah, when, yeah when I'm suspending. Just love it. That's why that's why the conversation when that's funny and like all all that all that chat about like table talk and women finessing drinks and stuff. But I see them not buying at the bar, bro. Yeah. Financing niggas. <laughs> well, um, yeah. That's what they say. Do you have anyone, anyone in mind? Though? Yeah, because I feel like that was very, very targeted. Yeah, just nah, like man. pinpoint. You get that same vibe. No? Nobody you wanna at? Shout out to the boss bitches wiping niggas. You know, man says that he's one of the most unserious people he knows. These are the moments. Yeah, sorry, man. Super unserious as well. Sorry, yeah. not every day. Serious. Now the brothers come on. Some comment. Sometimes we come to gist about serious stuff. Sometimes just come and chat shit with your friends. Isn't he it? said that in the most monotonous voice. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm a bit banged up from the weekend. No, not you. Banged up. Fans. Yeah. Oh him. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I thought he was not every day serious. Oh, yeah. Okay. Haha. Uh, Woo. Coming up with fun <laughs> stuff. Met Gala. Let's talk about the fits. Oh my. Like, I want to put a disclaimer right there. Before I talk about anyone's fit, this isn't an, like a like an, a time to target my fits. What we're doing as regular. Um, we saying Joan, you, Joan Rivers reincarnated yeah. Bro, she lives through me, bro. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> Met Gala. Yeah. Everyone was a fucking judge. It was. That's just... the intro, though, isn't it? It's like, ah, you're not sticking to the theme. I'm like, but all right, man. No, you need to. I saw one that really tickled me was um, Gunner. He was looking like... I like Gunner's outfit, though. He was given like a ghetto Dr. Evil because he had this little dog thing with him. Okay. Like a, but the bust down. Yeah, it was really weird. And the, a cape. He looked, no, he looked nice. Which I like Stormzy's outfit. Build. I think that was oh, paying Jessica's. homage to Chadwick Boseman. Yes. Godly in that, yeah. Yeah, no, it, was, it, was, it was a good fit. I liked it. I say it's a stark contrast from uh, the come up wearing tracksuits and stuff. I know, I know some of the Great. some of the scene will be like rah, but no, I, I liked it. And like I said, if if you're gonna go there, you've got to go on theme, innit? Shout out, Smell's wardrobe, man. Sensational yeah. work. I even see her post post even see her posting that um she will never um judge people's fits again because this thing is a lot harder. Than it looks. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when you when you actually get in the building and now you've got to do it as well. When, you, when like, you're okay. set a task um to produce something that everyone's going to speak about or Ooh. judge it's a lot because yeah. obviously the 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 artist or the entertainer or the celebrity that's there um is worried about how they look yeah and it's your responsibility to make sure that they look good yeah. some people there's one yeah, image is everything as well he went there like dressed like dj Khaled. Man was in color block like like head to toe Oh, who Pinkish, purplish. Yeah. I don't know that was, not it? Oh, I can't remember. That, that made me laugh. Um, Cardi B looked good. I, yes. I really liked um, Cardi B. 
look, cut her look. She looked nice in the face as well. Mm. Offset one. <laughs> that's, just, that's, that's a win okay. for the city, boys. So that's what it, yeah. that's what it comes down to, fine. Um, can, we, can we get to the hate? Anyone you didn't like? Yeah, I'm getting there. Okay, cool. It's as if, like, Kylie Jenner, I perplexed by mm. what was going on. It was giving Runaway Bride. I didn't Fillers enjoy it. I look 38. It, she looked awful. How's the king of New York? <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> Where chunk letters, bruv? I'm like, ain't she still in her twenties? It's terrible, Chloe. Someone said Chloe. This is Chloe's first and last invite. She just looked like well, grand opening, grand closing vibes. Yeah, just any other day. Um, who? I saw the woman's cooking Kim, saying all she knows is body con. That is it every day. Is it every day? But when that, they're coining her as like the Marilyn Monroe of this era. Because she was wearing Marilyn Monroe's dress. Oh, oh okay. That's okay. what it was. Um, hold on. I there, is, there is a hilarious irony in like the fact she could never get in those spaces and she got there because of Kanye West. Bro, like, And now she's back there without Kanye West and the whole family. Nah, man. Kanye, man. Let the toxic gene fly, man. Yeah. Go studio, but we need some music off the back of this, bro. Yeah. Um, I, although it wasn't on theme necessarily, I liked Winnie Harlow's I didn't even see it. Ensemble. I didn't see Winnie Harlow. It was really nice. What was it? I said, um, Gilded Glamour and White Tie was the was the theme. It's saying it's paying homage to the um, rapid prosperity, prosperity and industrialization from the US from like 1870 to 1890. Apparently, it's like a very easy theme to follow. Yeah, just so think Bridgerton. Did did did, uh, did you see Futures fit? No, it was great until like I got the to the trousers. I was wearing, I was wearing shorts. A short tuxedo. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Chloe Bailey, her outfit was horrible. She looked like if a bee got a BBL. Right. Okay. It was very bad. It was giving pots and pans, like just wasn't very nice at all. Anybody else you, you, you weren't satisfied with? Um, no, that's it for now. Okay. Can you go back to some love? Anyone else you the, like? Uh, <laughs> the, the Met Gala paid homage to Rihanna. Yes. They honoured the her statue. with a statue. Incredible. Um, in I think they took it from the uh, the image from the Vogue shoot that she'd done oh, nice. and sculpted it into a statue for um, in, in, her, cold. in her honour I which liked, was dope I thought Meg the Stallion looked good okay I didn't I see her she looked good yeah I didn't her, see her her whole outfit together Blake Lively cold. Cold. She killed sensational it. Cold. No, that was ah cold. that dress mm. you know, it did make me laugh though Anderson Pack. He was on the finest booger sugar. Bro, he was on the uh, Bruno Mars's leftovers. He, yeah, he was no, he was literally still in character for Silk Sonic and that man came out and he forgot himself. I was oh, like, did he? he should never let you niggas in. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? I don't know if-, if He if, just came out and just started dancing like a dancing man. Yeah, it's a dancing queen. Yeah, no, he was- In he was a fringe. Yeah. Huh? He had on them like um, is it seventies wigs. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, the, the, the flowy fringe. Yeah. Swoosh. Yeah. But there was a lot going on, but it was just funny to see. I was like, yeah, bro, you just def, you're not beating these cocaine allegations, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're not, bro. Never. I don't even think you <laughs> yeah, want you're to. You're not, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. They, that's what they'd be taking over there at Silk Sonic. Yeah. What's funny is though, like, is where we've come to where like that is a thing we just wanna. We're just waiting for the outfits and seeing what's going to happen. Yeah, Who, who's going to kill it? Who's not going to kill it? Like, and the thing is that, like, the man them don't really know what the fucking Met Gala uh, is. No, yeah, if you just uh, if you just ask, even even I was like reading it off, like, oh, this was the theme. You can tell I was reading from my phone. <laughs> it didn't flow off the tongue naturally. Bro, like, innit? so like, I don't know. Like, is it a fundraiser? Like, I don't know. That's where they're making the, money. That's how the company makes money. That's the, 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 the thing that makes them the most money is the actual gallery. So, because you have to pay like it's like thirty five racks a table. Yeah. And there are now there are select few people who will go there who are in the inner circle get invited and they don't pay any 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 money because they literally walk the red carpet and within five minutes of being in there they take those outfits off. A lot of that stuff you see them wearing they can't sit in them. No, yeah. Never. Like they I go see in there. um Janelle Monae. She looked amazing. But that's like she wasn't on theme though. Doja Cat looked wonderful. Oh, was she there? Yeah. 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 I saw a picture of her that looked I wonderful. Doja, and, it's all, and it's also a marker of like who are the movers and shakers in the industry yeah. as well. Basically, if you're not there. Queen B weren't there. But that's no. my choice. This year. Come on, that's my choice, man. She's yeah, busy. She's usually there, man. It's my choice, man. It's with her children. Yeah. And their dad. 
her husband. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's how you know she's so famous. They, they make him sound like a bit. <laughs> 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 and you know what it is? Rose just he's got a firm. I got the hottest girl in the game wearing my chain. Yeah, you so. won. You lot can make up lies. with the bag. I had to change the weather. Yeah. He clocked. That's lies. a brazy. That's a, it's one of the braziest lines, bro. That's a flex. Yeah. Big flex. Off the back of you doing wrong, <laughs> man said I have I had to change the weather. That's how I was like. like my wife's like, yeah. for, me, for me to get back of you, we're leaving New York. <laughs> yeah. We have to move to LA. I have to I have to make the pain into a bar. Yeah. That's art though, isn't it? That's yeah. proper art still. Yeah. Yeah. Go Sean. Love, say, Ooh, go hip hop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love that for him. Trying to think, who else did I see? What's my man? Um that lady's first off, is it ya ya ya? What's the man said ya 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 Or the candy say, man I was nigga. gonna say ya ya too Oh no. yeah. The candy man yeah. Don. <sighs> I can't even think. Well I can Dead film by the way. Not oh, hating. I didn't even see it. Sounds like hate. That sounds like hate. It sounds like hate. Like it sounds like hate, like innit? Stay fine. <laughs> niggas find that girls like a certain don, and they start going, oh, yeah, yeah. Ovi's, Ovi's buff. Then niggas start pulling up all his, like, <laughs> his, his basketball his stats. His basketball stats. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're doing it now with um, my man Ben Simmons that's dating my jammer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they pull up all his stats saying that like, he ain't that good. Oh, wow. That's, a, that's, that's how you he know got, when you're wearing. You got a mean ring, That's though. when you know when either your girl's super buff or. You're super buff and the girls like you too much. Yeah, but he responded to these niggas with a ring. That ring was mean. Yeah, shout out to them, man. That's also helping the, the girls in London, like, um, for their 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 line of, oh, maybe my, my MCM isn't in the UK. Mm. International dating and that. I so hear that. Are you going to go find love in Dubai? I'd shut up. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I think the biggest mistake you let me know is that like, you're going away. <laughs> no? No holiday romance? No, no. Are you against holiday romance? Um, I'm going to start small. I think I might kiss someone in the club this year. You've never kissed someone in the club? No. Who the fuck are you? She's I was... saying she ain't like you niggas during away games. You start hanging out with me all off. I don't think, oh. you're, hang... I don't think you're enjoying life as you should. <laughs> Just put it in your mouth anywhere. Ugh. Nah, nah, nah. Live what, life lips in... in a random in a rage. Scary it's not my style. To live life. What the hell it's is going style, on here? The um, chat with the WWE... Huh? E podcast. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Oh, it's because my friend that I was with, she she absolutely loves it. Okay. Just like oh, just no, 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 and then go. What, what's that? What's that? that? <laughs> no, it's not. Nom, nom, nom. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> that's just what I imagine. Like, no, nah, I've lived yeah. in a club, but it's been with someone I'm with. Okay. Yeah, not Do you know what I mean? You like, just... not a random. But that shows chemistry. No, I think you should do a poll on this. I'd love to see how divided people, people like to lie, bro. Nah, you're a suicide bomber. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lips in the rant. <laughs> I want you talking to me. Wait, so in the middle of a pandemic, it's kind of brazy. Oh, in the middle of a panini. No, I said this year. Yeah. I'm not saying that like, tomorrow. No, no, no. But no, I'm no, saying, no, yeah, obviously. before I get to holiday mm. romance, I need to, like. Now, like, he's with you. You're saying that like, it's brazy, isn't it? That like, barrier first. Yeah, you can't just. Okay, I was saying, you, you know, baby steps, you, innit? Yeah. Yeah. Because you, I just think, like, it's. it's but holiday romance doesn't mean you got to go, you got to go the whole way. Like, you know. Just meet someone. Because it is, everyone's in a better mood when the sun's out. That's what I was speaking about a few weeks ago, like in Absolutely. London. Like, p- people are more cheery, just in like your neighbor, stranger on the street, people smile you. So, like, going away, sun, sea. I just generally don't trust people. Okay. So I'd be like, oh, what do you want? What do you want? Yeah. Like, you just met me. Like, where are your friends? And if you've just left your friends for me on your holiday, I just mm. think, oh. Ego, man. Tap into the ego a little bit. No, man. it's just such a like immediately. Not okay. Take people fall risk. in love, like blah blah blah. Okay, I get that. Enjoy the adventure. Live in the moment. Yeah, okay. all the buzzwords. Well, come on, man. Yeah, just not. Um, Do you need some more? I got some. You're so silly. <laughs> I got some more here for you. I'd, a story for the I'm grandkids. I'm not against. It. I'm not against it, yeah. but I just it's never happened. I've been meaning to the bucket bad be on holiday. Okay. Make it happen, man. Yeah. So you got an assignment. You got you got an assignment when you go. What's away, that? Man. Find love. Wow. I mean, <laughs> someone, that, someone that hasn't even wow. kissed a random. I'm telling her to go and find love. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm throwing you into the, into the fire pit. Uh-uh, not over there. Not there. Mm. Um, you never know, man. It's always, it's always when you say, "Oh, and it could never be me." And she comes back, say, "Oh my God, guys, you never guess." Oh what? my God, I'm in love. Yeah, I find the love of my life. I'll never be here again. <laughs> no more podcasting. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped mm. saying it could never be me. 
because it started uh. being you all the time, innit? I <laughs> <laughs> see when you realize you're the problem, life would like, be yeah. like, yeah, all right, one sec. Wait, have you ever had a holiday romance? Uh, define romance. <laughs> Why are you sighing? Because I feel like I know where this is going. It's not going anywhere. I'm, okay, no, I'm, I had a holiday romance, no. When you was doing like fucky fucky abroad. Ooh. Sorry. On, this, is a, this is a PG podcast. No, it's not. What's a fucky fucky? <laughs> what is that? Huh? What's happening here? Yeah, what's <laughs> That's that? what you're doing. Fucky fucky. No, 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 no. You know, just, you know, you meet a lovely young lady and that and just, oh, I'll attract you when I get back to London. You know, just like crazy. Okay. Yeah. Bands? Don't sigh like that, bro. Right? Yeah. Okay, lovely. Wait. How did it like, did you cry at the airport? No. It's still existing. What? Cryptic. Don't, don't ask too much questions. Okay. The girls that get it, get it. And yeah. I'm a babe that don't. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Um, it's just like, you're never gonna ask fans questions ever again. Yeah. Yeah, cause you didn't get much out of them, did yeah. you? Yeah. It's like blood from a stone. Is that the phrase? Yeah, blood that is the drone blood from the stone. Okay, yeah. well, um, I'm Thanks happy for coming, guys. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Thank you so Thanks much for, for sharing. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Again. Get out, man. That's <laughs> 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 the first for coming to my TED Talk. Are we done with Met, the Met Gala then? So, Yeah, I mean, you, like, it's it's always fun on the timeline when the Met Gala happens. There's a lot of people that um, are creative with their jokes. It's jokes. Um, and, you know, you we're fast, in it? Like, we like to see what, what these people are wearing. Yeah. It's something that we don't wear on our day-to-day. Like, it's just... It's they're all statement pieces. It's it's fit for purpose, isn't it? And it's also a good opportunity to like, maybe in a slightly sadistic way, just like knock um, celebrities down a peg or two. Yeah, they can feel this opportunity to show that they're super normal as well, even with all the yeah. budget, all the extra bells and whistles, the team, the stylist. Yeah. They can still get it wrong. People have one one assignment. There's one thing saying the outfit maybe isn't nice, but it not being nice and off theme. Yeah, it's like you're taking absolute piss here. Pick a sin. Yeah. yeah. And like it's a way to uh, view metrics on how um, or where certain people are at level wise. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Because you know I'm I'm, I don't think Cardi B's ever missed when she's been at Met Gala. Uh, nor has Rihanna. Yeah. Come on, they made a statue out of a yeah. common. There's, there's levels here, man. Yeah. And like seeing someone like Stormzy um, yeah. at the Met Gala. That's a mark of him being in the new space yeah, yeah. as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Be, him being in, in on a certain level, you know, um, with a with a custom Burberry suit, you know, designed by Ricardo Tishi. You're a big deal, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Who else? It's taking it far. Something else was there. Hmm. <coughs> Talk about Ghana, Blake Lively. Yeah, that, that was it for me. Like I, I, I was, I was, I got my information via the timeline. Innit? Yeah, of course. So. Source of Where all else do people news. get information? On, Source of all good news, man. Elon Musk is about to shake things up, man. Mm. About to get even better news. <laughs> yeah, so. How do you feel about um, one person owning Twitter? Uh, I actually don't care that much. Wait, actually, no, let me rephrase that. What do you, how do you feel about one person having that much power? Because before Jack Dorsey didn't own Twitter. Yeah. Like it wasn't just one person that owned yeah. it. So now it's Elon Musk. Thoughts? Well, to kind of, it's no man, one man travel all that power in it. Like it's, it's power corrupts in it, so it's it's super super dangerous. But I, mean, I think we mentioned a little bit last week yeah. or the week before. Um, so yeah, one one, and it's, it's just like the person can then become an ego maniac because uh, we didn't speak about because you fell asleep. The Abercrombie Combie and Fitch um, <laughs> documentary. No, that wasn't even a shot. That wasn't nah, a shot. That, was, that, was <laughs> that wasn't a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I said I said it wasn't a shot. Whilst I've got two guns pointed at her. <laughs> if this ain't a shot, I'd, cool. I'd, I'd, I'd cool. hate for you to feel a real shot. Cool. You I actually her. wasn't a shot. It wasn't cool. a shot. I don't hear Pim from you, you know. Cool. I put them away. I put them uh, away. Cool, I put them away. Cool, cool, you cool. hate her. But in, in that example, the person that owned that brand was an egomaniac, was running things really brazy, allegations of sexual misconduct. Yeah. Mm. With him and one of the photographers that were kind of like, my mum was basically sitting in on like the the casting meetings. Yeah. You're like the big CEO of this company. You don't need to be here when young how many year olds models are coming in and are doing a campaign for you a man sat in there having private meetings with them so he was one person running the sh- running the show so yeah and that's on a, obviously a small level than Twitter so yeah I, it's, I'm I'm wary of it but like bro, what billionaires do doesn't affect me like that it feels anyway day to day like but it <clears throat> you could also argue that that 
is what's contributing to the problem because if everyone takes the approach of it doesn't concern me it doesn't concern me it doesn't concern me yeah you know there's going to be a time when it does but you've Mm. turned such a blind you've turned a blind eye for so long Mm. that now when it does affect you it's it feels catastrophic does that make sense yeah yeah we did mention it just like the one person having control um and the the authentication of um accounts Mm. so maybe wanting like you need to have your ID to sign up, like yeah. those things. So I'm capping a little bit here. It does worry me, but I think I would just not use it if I was if it if I was if it affected me that much. Yeah, fair enough. I think that's just how I kind yeah. of look at it. So um, I hope it doesn't get to that. I want to see what because especially when someone starts saying they like they want to be purveyors of free speech, it always feels weird when people want to they want to remember the glory days of free speech. What you're really saying is you want people to be able to say the most heinous, horrible mm. things with no repercussions. You know, and you're leaning into like far right. That's how I look at it. I could be wrong, but like far right type of conversations. Because you saw what happened with um, like was it Cambridge Analytica and all like the mm. the the them help being able to like sway elections. Yeah, and using the social media in a negative way, well, or the positive way because they got the outcome they wanted, but a negative way in my opinion because they were just putting out a lot of false information, controlling the hearts and minds. Because we always joke about it and, and I've noticed over the last like how many weeks Twitter conversation have bled more and more into the podcast but it's because that's what, where a lot of us are on. Yeah. yeah. We're on social media heavy. So Very. a lot of the things that, that happen with us socially are going to play out on there, isn't it? So, that place is a mess. Yeah. So, But yeah, delete the app, man. Delete that shit. <laughs> delete all that shit. It's interesting you saying that to me though about like us like if we all have the same approach where we kind of just go out, uh, uh, if they man do it, I'll do it, or just waiting. Mm. We've had the protest board, I don't know if you've seen that's kind of like, yeah. in the last two weeks, quietly just come through where you basically can't protest anymore, in short. Can't protest police. Yeah. And it's all come off the back of what was a real monumental time period over the last couple of years when we had the BLM protests. Yeah. So we had that, of course, in the US, and we had it in the UK, and... I feel like this is like this is a direct punishment for them pulling down the statues. Mm, yeah, all the stuff that happened, like the, the the them having to you know guard the Churchill statue. It's like nah, nah, we're not. So that's when I'm like, I'm sure there's people that look like us that were definitely there for the right reasons. Mm. But conspiracy theories, folks, were there people in there that were sent in to disrupt? So then they've got a, they've got enough of an excuse and a yeah. reason to then go. Actually, yeah, I agree. No, you know what? No, 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 no. We we we've seen what protests happen because it, it, even though we know why people are protesting, we then had to start like justifying the protests. The, the, the conversation went away from the death of George Floyd and police brutality yeah. over here to uh, Churchill wasn't that much of a racist. And like, <laughs> we kind of got distracted a little bit. Like I'm here for chaos at times. It's easy for my house. Like, yeah, pull it down, innit? Like Gandhi, racist. Churchill's not an icon to me. Yeah. But was that really genuine? Was that what we were looking for? Yeah. It kind of got in the way a little bit. And when I see bills like this, I feel like those are the direct influences on those things, isn't it? I agree. Or, or at least they hadn't. That was it. What they used as an excuse. Maybe they were always planning to um, to clamp down how people protest because people protest in central London every day. It's always <laughs> protest. We just forget that at the time. Like maybe it's because maybe not somewhere that a lot of us pass through. But yeah. the protests happening all the time. They've been there for long. People in tents and stuff. But the BLM protests. Maybe because we're at home, we had more time on our hands. Yeah. Was working from the home. Some people, a lot of people, are on furlough as well. So we maybe able to take in a lot more information that yeah. probably would have just gone past us because we're on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I'll remember to post the, the article about the protest bill and the changes that have happened and stuff. So, but yeah, even I say I'm a hypocrite, man, because if you man do it, I'll do it. <laughs> Get out. Get out. <laughs> this is why I'm not on people too much because, bro, we spoke about calling sick to the beef, innit? <laughs> yeah, yes, absolutely. That. that was fun. You know, you want us to go and ride out? Some of us have low iron. We can't go and ride out, bro. We'll fake before we get to the front of the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> I need me a test pending. Uh, <laughs> it's peak, bro. What's next? Horny MPs. Okay. Um, Watching porn at work. Yeah. What's the most off-brand place you watch porn? Oh. Have some deep thought. Nowhere. 
In my nowhere. house. Yeah, my house. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's to a, be honest. A classy lady, decorum. Go on, man. Tell, tell us something salacious. To be honest, last week we were talking about um, porn on the timeline. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes you can just log into your Twitter and then what, someone's retweeted the mad shit onto your page, onto your timeline. Oh, yeah. So I've then been, you, you could been be on, anywhere. I've been on a community commute and then like this is... Bro, like, you could be sat anywhere. Sat down and obviously someone's standing above you and I think the person looking yeah. up... And you're just like, oh my yeah. God. I was like, no, no. Like, I swear down. This ain't me, no, bro. Like, bro. That's when you have to close it quickly. Like you lock your phone immediately. You press the side button. But the funny thing is you then forget that when you open your phone again, oh. yeah, you're back where yeah. you were, in it? But sometimes if the bus is empty... Naughty. Well, you sat at the back of the bus. If the... No, like it's... In that scenario where you open up Twitter oh, you, you and stay it just pops there. up, yeah, and then in a circumstance where like so, someone's sitting right <laughs> next to you, you're, you're gonna shut, you're gonna close your phone straight away. Sorry, yeah. I really but thought you were saying the bus was empty. You might watch it for a little bit longer. I thought you were saying you go to the back of the bus when it's that's empty. Like, that's to like, that's crazy, <laughs> what, bro. Who, who do you not think I am? A deviant. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> the highest order. <laughs> what the hell? Like, we, like come on, we know, bro. Like, what's going on here? You are crazy. Yeah, man. But yeah, watching like porn, like watching porn at work, like in House of Commons, is insane. Is is next to a female colleague? Really? What? Yeah, that's what that's what I could say. Apparently, a Tory front bencher was watching porn. With his colleague, female colleague next to him, and that, yeah. Oh, what was she like? <laughs> what was she doing? <laughs> what was she watching it as well? Like? Uh, I don't know. But the way, but the position in that way, she, position that was way, she the person that flagged it. Yeah, either she flagged it or, or told someone else they flagged it. With the, but the way it's got position was like even doing that next female colleague, yeah. like, making her uncomfortable in that setting. Because imagine you're sat at work and someone just sits next, sitting next to you, pulls out their phone, and it's just like. We got a security videos. guard that got fired. Um, in my secondary school, because uh-huh. before that, um, <laughs> before oh, yeah. the, can, so can we get yeah, trigger warning? What's going on here, <laughs> no, bro? No, 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 no. What? Sounded really, that sounded very <laughs> crazy. So, um, our school wouldn't open. It would open at eight o'clock. So before then, you couldn't physically get into the school okay, building. Okay, yeah. So you know, you've got the nighttime security guard, and he was at the computer, and he was just like scrolling through naughty pictures. Ah. So of course, like there were some kids are like lining up to get into the school right. so they can see his uh, and it's like oh he's looking at tits and no, you, like, oh, bro you get fired bro yeah you can't be doing that in a school in hindsight that's very crazy like bro. being an adult now that is very wild that's insane you've just watching you're like just looking at titty pics like, have at that a school. in your own quiet time don't in use... a school yeah wild that's crazy yeah. but niggas were watching porn in college like in class like on the little Nokia Leaf phones. Or oh, 7600. Yeah, bro. Yeah, we've got to send some footage around that time period, yeah. Yeah. yeah so. No, but I mean, every, everyone saw random clips at yeah. that point, but are you saying that they were just... In terms of the setting and stuff? Oh. Because <laughs> people watch porn, we had this conversation. Yeah, yeah, there, absolutely. So. But um, I don't know. It was just like clips that used to go around. Okay, fine. Like, yeah. You know, just... But regular, no, why is the story so brazen? Because like... Regular 16-year-old shit. This is what you guys are spending your time doing. <laughs> Doing Prime Minister's questions. Yeah. <laughs> You're there if your cock on rock just watching, <laughs> <laughs> watching pornography. <laughs> like, do you know what? The mad thing is, is that, like, right, what? Couldn't it wait? I don't this understand. Is it, this is Could it. it not wait? I, I'm really just saying, how horny do you have to be to be like, you know what? I need it right now. Yeah. Like, amongst your colleagues. In the middle is, of my mind, going, oh, duh. Yeah. Oh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> You're a menace. These times, man's like <laughs> secretly soiling his pant in the House of oh Commons. Yeah, <laughs> that was so disgusting. Straight man, and then you've got um, the reason why it's all happened at the same time. So what's the lady named Angela Rayner? So they accused her of um, on crossing her legs like Sharon Stone in, in Basic Instinct. Yeah, saying that she's <laughs> she's trying to um, lure the uh, the Donny Lure opposite. them. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, they said there's a culture of like she ain't a bad bitch though. And Sharon and Stone was. Well, you so like, it's you like the premium milk. Sharon Stone was a pin-up. Okay. Fair. So Don't play with Sharon Stone. If you were on the tube and a girl just like, yeah, and she was a baddie, like you'd be okay with it? Nah. So legs are uncrossed, like, why'd you? No, because he made it sound like it's not okay because she wasn't a baddie. Oh, okay, explain yourself. I can't speak for you. Now nah, I was just getting my shit off. It's yeah. inappropriate, <laughs> like, okay, obviously. Great. I just wanted to but, make sure. 
um, what is it, what Sharon Stone's portrayal is fictional, isn't it? Yeah. It's in the movie. Yeah. Nice clean up, lovely. Yeah, I can't believe it. For you to even notice, that means you was watching her super hard. But essentially, she was constantly uncrossing her legs to distract my man. Instead of you to focus on the minutes of the meeting and what's going on and that, you know. Focusing on his meat. Yeah. Mm. Her meat. Yeah. Very, those people, anyway, we know they're not okay. But it just shows that, like, yeah, you're in position in that, but they just, they can be tossers like the rest of the general <laughs> public. So sometimes, as much as, like, yeah, as much as I like, I want to flog them, and then Matt, Matt coming across like, we definitely have a lot of conversation with flogging the Conservative Party, and that, that might just be my, my labour leanings over the years, you know, coming from poverty, you know. <laughs> All of that. Poverty. Yeah, but um, I do find it sometimes funny. It's like, bro, you lot are just, on shenanigans and stuff like just like the fact they don't else. even want to um, like close the bar in there because they just want to go and get pissed. I, I can relate with that. Like working a long week now. Obviously, I would like to win. I work harder than them. That you know we're doing a honest day's work. You guys are just there chilling. But I can relate to like work being done at half four on a Friday and having beer o'clock. Now if they took that away from me, I, I might write like the French. You know, because you need certain things to get through the week, innit? But obviously yeah. mine isn't at the expense of the taxpayer. There we like, go. You there know, we go. Just on a jolly up and like I said, in the middle of work watching porn. Would you think he was on next videos or X and XX? The thing is, if I start answering questions, then that means my porn knowledge is too vast. I look like even more of a deviant. <laughs> like them Donnies that was at the porn convention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw I saw images of that and I was like, they all look like the same type of Donny. Yeah. But it is. They should also be allowed to have it, and they do have it, a space to express themselves, isn't it? Yeah. Because if there's one thing being a fan of a porn star, but going to a, going to a porn convention, in my opinion, is brazy. Like, like you go to I a convention. I saw a clip of a Donnie getting pink eye. What? Like, she was just rubbing her ass cheeks in his eyes. <laughs> in his can, eyes. Can this man see currently? Bro, it? that twerk wind must have fucked up his vision. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's how you get 20-20 vision, maybe. I hear that. Yeah. Possibly. Knock the glasses off his face. Yeah. <sighs> no? Just. I was like, you niggas really left your house to go to this horny convention. Yeah. You paid tickets. Like, you paid money for tickets. Yeah. yeah. They're supporting sex workers. That's what you should say. Okay, yeah. That's a, that's a good thing. When you put it like that. Mm. They've got, they've, everyone's got their space to have their fun in it. But what do you Who do there? Like, judge? is it like the Comic Con for porn? Yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Grammys for porn, bro. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm like, assuming stuff like, know, like stuff what, like what goes meet, on stuff and meet, meet and, and greets greet. pictures you're probably probably opportunity for those sex workers you probably are in a space where a lot of them don't get paid great from traditionally like mm. websites and that they can go in there and sell merch and stuff like that innit? Okay, it's a better way for them to make money and stuff so. okay fine Yeah. so like is it a balance between like sex enthusiasts and deviants probably yeah yeah cause like excuse me these niggas are like beating their meat, yeah, off these women. But some of these women, but raise then they these go men. to like they go to meet and greet and do what? <laughs> you get a picture, innit? Yeah. Do, it depend. It probably depends on the girl, on like how much she's willing to like. You gave an example of one person getting pink eye. There might be the girl that is that will sit on your lap and do the sexy photos, or mm. will, will do that, mm. or let yeah. you t like it, whatever she's comfortable with doing. That probably will come with a cost. Because these are their fans at the end of the day, so they want to keep them happy. But but these men are 42 years old. Where's the picture going to go? On Facebook, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a family. <laughs> wank bank. Yeah, maybe in a wank bank. Bro, just f for your own archives, isn't it? Yeah. People have their vices, isn't it? So we always have to be careful. And it's linking back to the conversation with, with the Dubai thing, yeah? As much as it's good for jokes and banter, you don't want to suppress people too much because that's when you get the madness and the people go too, too far left. So yeah, we'll cook them and have the jokes and that, but if you want to go to the porn convention with your chest, go and meet your idols. Some of these women raised you, you know, they helped Damn. you go through a tough period in life. You're yeah. not hurting anybody, I would hope. So I wouldn't be there. No? I'd just be online, you know. Okay, streaming it. Yes. Okay. We'll support them in it, you know, so. Okay, yeah. yeah the streets are cooking Pinky because she's putting a bit of weight. Pinky? Yeah, you know Pinky is short. Legend. A legend in the game. Yes. Hall of Famer. I think yeah, she's a Hall of Famer. Famer. Yeah, it's Hall of Famer. But I feel like Garen she's Hall always been a... Um... She's always been a thick babe, but now it's... <laughs> what am I saying? What? You get into what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't know Hall of Fame. Okay, cool, 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 cool. You're going to say she's always been a thick babe? Yeah, yeah. I don't think she's been particularly... Yeah, she's never been like, um, a slimmers. She's always a thick babe, but like, yeah, now we're on the other end. 
or thickness? She's um. She's but happy. There's, there's she's a market healthy. for that, don't it? Yeah. There's yeah. people. People like things. People like what they like. This clearly what they're trying to do is hilarious. People like things. People like what they like. People, people put on a lot of porn stars, like, like Young Thug, like. put on all the rappers. What are you saying? She's the Gucci main of all the She's the Atlanta A&R. <laughs> she's the anal A&R. Yeah. Oh my, oh my God. No? Too far? Yeah. Too left? This is why we don't have any sponsors. Oh <laughs> my God. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's oh that my pinky god. man. You raise a generation, man. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, go and retire, man. You've done enough, yeah, man. man. Put How on much that more do you want to do, right. man? Put on that weight, man, and retire, man. Come on, man. Should have made enough bread by now. <laughs> We'd hope, bro. <laughs> we hope. We hope. <laughs> you, do you think we should go and do some um, behind the scenes stuff at the porn convention vlog? No. Me and fans haven't. We're we going to do interviews. Okay, go then. Yeah, come on, man. Road for reporter and that, you know. Yeah. Journalism, man. Mm, boots on the ground. Exactly. Correspondent. Yeah, man. Timberlands. With white, Tim- with white Nike socks. <laughs> and nothing else on. <laughs> <laughs> you strike me as a type of person that just can't wait to get their meat out. <laughs> so what, yo, <laughs> wait. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Because Whoa. that went left very quickly. Yeah. Wait, wow. About from you do this because you're off camera. That's why. You tr- you're trying me. No, I say it with my whole chest. No, no, no I'm a con, man. We, we see it. It's the same foe says, bun the foreplay. Oh, just meet first. Like, I'm not going to so be. I'm, you're, I'm, not, I'm, you're not foreplay foes, nah. I'm, I'm not going to be. They all got some um, uh, allegations. <laughs> <laughs> trying to DJ envy me. Because <laughs> you're talking about being a I go straight in, you know. And he That's just crazy, went to Timberlands and socks. Nah, no lips in. Come, you got lips, man. You know. Yeah, I can lips for time. Okay. Promote yourself. Yeah. How about you? Have I love a good kiss. Case? Don't do, don't call it that. Kissing is fine. I love kissing. kissing. Yeah, okay. sensual, intimate. Mm. It's horrible when the other person can't kiss, though. Why do you carry on then? You got to communicate, man. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> how do you? And she's holding your feet to the how fire. Do, this like, this week, how is accountability you, for me and Vans. How do you like? How do you maneuver that? Like, what do you just? You just lightly stop. No, you just got to start kissing other areas. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cause you got to think fast, you gotta, bro. You got to think of your feet, bro. Because when you're not, when like, yeah. And I, and I, and I would hope that on the other end, you know what? Mine, 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 a... Mine's been received well because I would hate them not to come back and say, yeah. It By just, the way, you're not a good kisser. And it just strikes me as someone just overthinking it. What if they can't kiss? Like whilst they're someone that's overthinking things whilst kissing, that's why they're all going wrong. No, some people are just bad. Yeah. Gotta get lost in it. Gotta put your all in that shit. Okay. Yeah. This this is this the boot everyone's on this week? Look, all right. Cool. Yeah. Kiss her passionately and don't text back. I and never you, liked you, future. Have you been, I was gonna say, have, have you been listening to future album this week? I've been listening to this week. You've been listening to this week because he, he under this durag where he kept it on. He's bro, he's in his touch. Yeah, he's bag, ready. He's ready. Imagine, Kidding, imagine, haha. Imagine that went kiss so her left. Passionately, and don't text her back. Remember when I said? I mean, kidding, haha. Jokes, bro. We can't haha your way out of this one, bro. Why not, man? Yeah, man. Let me beat these charges. Oh yeah, cool. Beat, beat these charges. Yeah. So have you listened to the future album for any inspiration? Um, no. No? Okay, cool. I could be a savage on my own. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm happy to hear. What do you think of the album, Vans? We can, we can do that right now. Uh, I think it's cool, like, for a future album. If yeah. you're a future fan, you'll like it. Um, if you're not necessarily a, a, the biggest future fan or a casual fan, you may not. There are, like, a few pointers in there where it's easy on the, on the ear. He's definitely Especially crooning the so- on there. He's crooning. Yeah, the song with uh, featuring Thames and and Drake. That's oh, definitely going to be like on that. on rotation. But I've already heard on everybody's um, in the back of everyone's um, Instagram posts, yeah. people's TikToks already. That's the go to song, isn't it? Yeah. And Thames sounds really nice on there. Mm. But did it, am I right in saying those vocals existed somewhere else already, and they just laid them with? Um, <clears throat> it's not like an original package song. Um, I was hearing that, 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 that those vocals exist somewhere else already. Yeah. That they just use that as back. Like, it sounds really good, though. Yeah. I don't know if yeah. you heard the, the yeah. Drake feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, he's got um, a song called Love You Better. That's that's also <laughs> the one that's going to be on a, on the a radio. He just loves, like, him and Drake love each other. So you're always going to hear, like, them collaborating in some way, shape, or form. I really like the song of ESTG, though, man. Chickens, bro. Yeah. ESTG verse on there is cold. Um, 
Steven Dorisley, where God bless you, it's in that. Voodoo, Virgin Kodak Black. Mm. Cold as well. I I I, I liked um, the the one with Kanye as well. What? Well, uh, keep it burning. burning. Um. Yes, yeah, it's, it's it's decent, man. Like I like Future in it. Like I like um, a lot of his projects. What is it you like about his projects? Or his... I think like he's a. I think he's a. I think he's just dope at what he does. I think sometimes he's fought ahead of everyone else. That's why, like, he's got a lot, a lot of sons in the game. Okay. Um. So yeah, I think he knows what, how good he is at doing what he does, and he puts it in his projects. Like he's probably one of the the, the most hardworking artists in terms of output. Um, but do you think sometimes because like I was like Dirty Sprite 2 period heavy on Future innit me yeah. and Sosa Sosa went to I remember you saw Sosa at the show and stuff yeah. like, but then sometimes with some artists when you're the hard work thing's great but when you put out so much content I almost can't keep up at a little point and I kind of I kind of when I, when I fall behind maybe when I like I listen to like a project or two or maybe even three because even up to, I can't pretend like I've listened to Future's last couple projects properly like that I'll hear singles and stuff. Okay. I'll be invested here and there. I might go back and listen to the old stuff. Yeah. Um, um, I mean, for me... I was going to output sometimes can end up hurting you when you've got so much music out. Yeah. But in this case, I don't think it's ever hurt him um, too much because I think he's always going to find songs on there that are going to go. Yeah. Like when he released um, the two albums in two weeks and they both went number one within two weeks. Yeah. That's been in the last five years, like Hendrix and um, what's the album called? With um, Mask Off. Uh, It's called Future. Yeah. Future and Hendrix, they were released back to back. And what's mad is he had to release those albums to get out of that situation with um, Monica's ex-husband, Rocco. Yeah. 